Unprepared isn't scripted or edited. There are no redos, and when we screw up, it's going live. This works for our show, but it is no way to run your e-commerce business. Our partner, Rewind, is here to help. They will help you back up your Shopify store with automated backups of your most important data. Rewind should be the first app you install on your store to protect it from human error, misbehaving apps, or collaborators gone bad. It's like having your very own magic undo button. It's trusted by over 70,000 retailers from side hustles to the biggest online stores like Gymshark, Gatorade, and Movement Watches. Best of all, if you reply to any of their welcome series and mention Unprepared, you can get your first month free. Hey, everybody. Welcome to an episode of Unprepared. I'm your host, Chase Clymer. And today, welcoming to the show all the way from South Africa, one of my good friends, Ross, a fellow Magic the Gathering nerd and uh, another Shopify uh, e-commerce agency owner. And today, Ross is going to share with me and the rest of you uh, customer journey buying. And without further ado... Ross, the floor is yours. Oh, wow. Yeah, just give me give me the stage. Eh? How are you doing, Chase? I'm doing good. Other than that cough, that's why I gave you the stage. I'm trying to not have not cough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you don't mention it, people won't know because you can just edit it out. So it's all good. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think you might have mentioned Magic the Gathering last time. And, and I, I think I might have said that I'd wear my mana shirt, which I didn't today. <laughs> but uh, right. maybe, well, we'll have to do another time. one then. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, as the as the the title of your 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 podcast is unprepared, I'm completely not, <laughs> which is fine. So we can kind of wing it, and you know, if uh, if I stumble, you can edit it out, and if 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 I have a, a good like run of 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 interesting things for merchants to take away, that all the better and all the easier for your editor. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. For sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, like off the cuff, uh, as you just asked me, like what 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 should we talk about? And the things thing that's probably freshest on my mind right now, since we're doing a fair bit of it, and 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 actually did it quite successfully last year for for Black Friday, is this journey buying um, concept uh, that um, whether it's a known term, uh, it's one that we use internally, uh, journey buying, where. We've um, been asked a few times over the years, and 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 more recently, we've actually started building them for these for 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 merchant clients of ours, where um, they give their customers the ability to follow a journey uh, through um, the choice of certain criteria, um, potentially, or you know, just choosing the volume of products that they want in their cart, and maybe they get a discount. That obviously applies more to the Shopify Plus merchants, but. Uh, you know, if they're not, or if discounting isn't like the, the aim of the game, it's maybe a, a case of grouping. You know, the, the stereotypical example would be um, camera, lens, batteries, or something like that. You know, where um, may, uh, the one that we're building at the moment, for instance, is gifts, um, where you know you can choose your gift or gifts. Uh, then you get the option of choosing a nice gift bag. You get the option of choosing the wrapping paper that you want. You get to choose the card type of message that goes in the card bam, you add all of that to cart in one go, and then you can go and create another one if you want to. And it's, it's a pretty cool way of ensuring that the consumer firstly takes advantage of all the things that you've got to offer. Um, but um, I think it's a nice little kind of virtual white glove experience. You know, it takes the it takes the customer through, um, you know, it takes, the, it takes away the thinking. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way that we think about that uh, at our agency is kind of a more strategic approach to uh, bundling and cross sells and upsells. Uh, and all of those efforts are going to help raise AOV. Is that something that you guys are considering when you're taking on those projects? Yeah, I mean, it it, it actually does come up. Um, the, the difference between the journey buying and I mean, we had a chat about it last night with a merchant where um, the uh, the concept of upselling or cross selling uh, post uh, adding to cart or whatever the case is, is similar in a way, um, except that this is kind of on the other side of the funnel, if, if, if that's the correct term to use, where you actually start your journey by selecting some defining characteristic of, of that audience. So it might be that you're buying. So, you know, using the gifts as an example, you might be very specifically ordering something for a 10 year old boy. For instance, in which case, you know, your the, the products that are shown to you are then so, which is you know obviously done via leveraging um, collections, and obviously the merchant can specify which collections are associated with that selection. 
um, and then subsequently show them things related to that. If it's a if it's a gifting thing, you know the the packaging, the the, the gift wrapping, and, and the card or whatever the case is. But uh, a good example is is a client of ours in in um, Salt Lake City called Grip Six. Um, if you if you have a look on their site, uh, I think it's actually their masthead um, banner is their multi pack builder, which um, allows people to uh, order a certain number of products, uh, and the more products you uh, you, you place in your cart through the multi-pack builder, um, the higher the discount is that you get. So um, you can go and use the four-pack builder and get, I don't know, X, I don't know exactly what the discount numbers were, but um, get a higher discount than if you were to go and order a product just directly from the product page kind of thing. So it incentivizes um, in- increasing your average card, uh, card value, you know. So um there's definitely uh, similarities to the upsell that happens like after adding something to cart. But then uh, I think that's, that's actually a good question. And like, you know, forcing me to think about it, it's actually the similar thing, but from the start, as opposed to from the end, you know? Yeah. So like, well, well, would you, would you, would you actually like to do this or, you know, would you like to change the product to that or, or add this thing to it? You are kind of starting with the, the idea, like, let us guide you through the process of, of putting together this, thing that's perfect for you and your needs you know yeah i think that uh that approach is is an amazing strategic way to increase average order value which i think that uh conversion rate a lot of best practices you know tackling that kpi is pretty ingrained in any e-commerce agency owner traffic is the easiest one to affect but average order value is probably the most strategic one that you have to approach because it products are so different audiences are, are so different there's no one size fits all kind of opportunity to do it. So kind of with that in mind, uh, what kind of merchant is this uh, approach useful for? I'm assuming, is it a merchant that's a little more mature in their business journey? Uh, you know, Because I'm assuming that this is a pretty custom solution. It is. It is quite custom. Um, and it's it's very, very valid question that um, the sort of the merchant that would probably get the most or that would get the most value out of this would require a certain amount of trade already happening on the store. Um, I would say that, I mean, I don't know what the exact numbers would be. And, you know, there are, as you know, there's so many factors that would determine um, what the ROI on something would be. Um, Margins differ, you know, and and so on. But um, an established store um, with a specific need that suits this would definitely benefit. I mean, We've seen significant uh, contributions, or at least uh, attribution of sales to to these types of things, somewhere in the region of twenty percent. You know, so um, it definitely resonates with the audience. Obviously, that can differ based on what you're selling and how you're utilizing this type of idea. But um, yeah, definitely, I wouldn't. Uh, That's not something that I recommend um, from day one. You know, and, and uh, I say that there, there could be instances where your entire business model might require a, um, a a journey buying experience. I mean, we, we had a client a while back called Pretty Litter um, that from day one probably should, and I think they did before um, uh, engaging with us, have um, a, a journey buying experience where you literally are asked a question. It's not a navigation thing. It's like, how many cats do you have? and so on and so forth and whatever drilled it down and then they recommend okay you need this much litter um or whatever the case is and uh, you know those use cases from day one probably but if you've got a an e-commerce store that you know is doing decent trade and you can bundle things i I suppose bundling is maybe another kind of synonymous uh concept in e-commerce that you could um compare it to um yeah certainly that, that that's a, that's a nice way of of doing it bundling normally though i mean i don't know how much you've done bundle bundling on on stores but usually you'd see that maybe on the product page where you're looking at the camera and then they've got the the batteries and the the, the case and uh, whatever that you can buy this as a bundle and save x percent or x number of dollars whatever the case is whereas this would be more a case of starting the journey with selection of camera, then being shown a bunch of different lenses and then being shown a bunch of options of cases that suit that camera and so on and so forth, you know, so it's, it's taking you through with some conditional logic, you know, you, you, you know, if you choose that, then filter down what you get shown next, you know, so it's pretty cool. We, we're kind of enjoying it. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it's definitely emulating 
uh, kind of the interaction that you would have if you were like in an actual retail store and you are having a uh, a salesperson helping you because they know you know people also buy this and this you know this goes with that. Um, so I guess if you're a store owner listening to this and it sounds interesting to you, that would be kind of the way to kind of start to formulate how you would build something like this into your business. It's like. I mean, I'm assuming a, a lot of the listeners probably only have an e-commerce store, so they don't have a retail thing. But I guess the way I would think about it, it would be if you you're getting on like the phone, someone calls in, and you're going to sell them on the phone. Like, what are you going to be talking about? Like, what other things are you going to bring up? That's probably where I'd start the, the iteration of the idea. I don't. Do you have any other suggestions for people to kind of start thinking about building these customer journey kind of types of uh, experiences with their store? Uh, I would I would assume that um, certain merchants would would probably spot the opportunity immediately just by hearing about the concept or being articulated to um, what it is and how it might benefit them. Uh, we're in the process of putting it together. I mean, we contemplated um, building an app. Um, there's certain limitations around um, Shopify uh, with the discounting side of things that we don't want to circumvent the um, the plus mechanism, because uh, when we've when we've set these things up in a plus context, we use scripts. But then, obviously, if you're using non-plus um, license on on Shopify, then you can't do it. And you can use discounts or discount codes, which is great. But then you can only use it once because you can't stack discount codes. So there's sort of you know a few issues there. But you know there are um, there are benefits to this type of thing outside of just discounting, because some people don't even want to discount; they just want to kind of make it easier for the customer to. To order the thing correctly and maybe it's just a pain for the merchant where you know people keep ordering the wrong thing with the wrong thing i mean this microphone i ordered um before i knew that condenser mics uh you know don't all come usb <laughs> so i had to send it back and get another one and, and and so on and so forth you know and and that if that's a frequent occurrence in in the merchant's life then you know it might be nice to have people guided through the process of ordering the right thing that goes with the, the other thing that that could be a strong opportunity. Otherwise, discounting is also a good one. Well, you know, discounting itself, but increasing your your average order value. Absolutely. Now, if I'm interested in this, how do I get a hold of you to chat about it more? Uh, shopcreatify.com um, and shopcreatify in general. If you Google that, we're on most social. Uh, not super active on all of them, but definitely Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and so on. Um, and yeah. Speak to me. Uh, you almost definitely come through to me. We're a small team, uh, and we can talk about it. You know, it's it's um, not maybe not going to be for everyone as we've identified in this chat. I kind of knew that already, though. But uh, you know, if people do see an opportunity in, in something like this, uh, it's something that we've done a couple of times now, quite successfully, and um, happy to chat, even if it leads nowhere. Awesome. I'll make sure to include links to that in the description of this show. Uh, thanks for coming on today, Ross. Awesome. <laughs>